Welcome to the Richland 2 Sports Wrap, a weekly show dedicated to the athletic teams in Richland 2. We begin this edition of the Sports Wrap with a look at tennis. Spring Valley hosted Ridgeview in a district matchup. The Lady Vikings owned the court as they went on to beat the Lady Blazers 6-0. Blythewood hosted Lugolf Elgin. The Lady Bengals controlled the action at the net as they went on to win this one 6-0. Westwood traveled to AC Flora to take on the Lady Falcons. The Lady Redhawks played hard but couldn't get past the more experienced AC Flora as they went on to lose this one 6-0. Over to volleyball, Blythewood traveled to Lugolf Elgin to take on the Lady Demons. The Lady Bengals dominated the net with Meredith Jones' four aces and 19 kills leading Blythewood to a 3-1 victory over Lugolf Elgin. Later in the week, Blythewood met r &E in a district matchup. The Lady Cavs struggled to get past Blythewood's strong offense as the Lady Bengals went on to win this one three sets to none. Spring Valley hosted Irmo. The Lady Vikings put on an impressive offensive performance as they went on to beat the Lady Yellow Jackets three sets to none, with Caitlin McDaniels leading the team with seven kills and six blocks. Later in the week, the Spring Valley girls traveled to Ridgeview for a district matchup. The Lady Vikings offense proved to be too much for the Lady Blazers as Spring Valley went on to win this one three sets to none. Over to football, Blythewood traveled to Sumter to take on the Gamecocks. The game was back and forth, but the Bengals came out on top, winning this one 37-22 and improving their record to 4-1. Spring Valley traveled to South Aiken to take on the Thoroughbreds. The Vikings put on an impressive offensive performance and managed to hold the Thoroughbreds' defense late in the game, helping them secure this 35-21 victory over South Aiken and improving their record to 5-0. Ridgeview hosted Westwood in a district matchup. On the Blazers' first drive, Nolan Randolph launches this bomb to wide receiver Trayvon Howell to set the Blazers up on the 8-yard line. The Blazers get on the board as Nolan Randolph runs it into the end zone for a touchdown. Later in the second quarter, Ridgeview tries to tack on three more points with this field goal, but Tyreek Bell breaks through the offensive line and dives in for the block. Ridgeview closes out the first half as Tyreek Bush breaks past Westwood's defense to run it in for a touchdown. The second half belonged to the Blazers as they went on to beat the Red Hawks 32-0. Over to Harry Perrone, r &E hosted Orangeburg Wilkinson. Coming into the second half, the Cavs lead by 23. The Bruins get on the board with this quick goal line touchdown early in the fourth quarter. Orangeburg quickly regains possession and runs one more in, chipping away at the Cavs' lead. r &E's defense buckles down and keeps Orangeburg at bay for the remainder of the game, going on to win this one 23-12. That'll do it for this edition of the Sports Wrap. Tune in next week for all your Richland 2 sports scores and highlights.